Marvel Devo. I am back with another video and before we even get into this fantastic video i'm going to need you to click on that subscribe button so that i can be a part of your journey you can be a part of my journey and we can be on this celibacy slash virginity slash keeping it together journey together so um as you can see in the title today we're going to talk about sex or the lack thereof <laughs> So before we even get into this video, I just like to start by saying a few things. I'd like to say that um yes, being a virgin is a good thing, but that does not mean you are better than anybody else. And it doesn't mean that God loves you any more than he loves um the person who isn't a virgin. And I, you know what? I'm just going to go to the Bible and just say these few things because I feel like the Bible expresses what I'm trying to say better than how I can express it. So Acts 10 verse 15 says, But the voice spoke again. Do not call something unclean if God has made it clean. And then people will be like, well, how does God make something clean? How do you know something is clean? You know what I'm saying? And then I go, oh, well, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And then people will be like, oh my gosh, how do I be in Christ? How do I be in Christ? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hold on, I got your answer. And I go, Romans 10 verse 7 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So I say this to say that just because you are a saved Christian and you're a virgin, this is good this is good but it does not mean that you're better than a saved christian who is not and also even if the person is not saved i just want to say that jesus died for everybody and jesus wasn't specifying and saying oh you know i'm just gonna die for the people that um, are saving themselves for marriage jesus died for everybody you understand what i'm saying like jesus died for you who have who has known him since you were a kid and jesus died for his, has that jesus died for people who don't know him as well and people who have been in the world and are in the world so it's not your place to judge anybody it's not your place to think that you're better than anybody because in jesus's eyes we are equal and he loves us all i think that's the point i'm trying to get across that he loves us all and he died for all of us so never think that you are better than anybody else just because you are a virgin and everyone deserves a relationship with jesus even if you're not a virgin so having said all of that if you truly want a relationship with jesus and you feel like you're not enough because of all the things you've been doing and how you're in the world i just want to say that jesus wants a relationship with you and he loves you irregardless you know he loves you as you are so if you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, you literally, all you have to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead and you'll be saved. And from then on, you can have a relationship with you. And I have a salvation prayer in the description. Just say it, send me a message just so we can talk about it, just so we can talk about what this means for your life and how you can build that relationship with Jesus. Because once you've done that, you're saved and you're clean. Like it says, um, like it says if anyone is in christ he's a new creation all things have passed away so if you really just want to get over this lifestyle that you're living and you don't know how to do it i just want you to know that jesus can make you clean and just can purify you and just make you a whole new creation that is in him and yeah so let's get into the video i'm just going to start by saying that initially pre-jesus i was just that person that said i don't want to have sex with a person because i just feel like i'm already like emotion not emotional but like i when i love hey when i love hey i love and i was just like i don't want to open myself up to being i, I don't want to open myself up to someone like that like i don't want to get hurt like that because i feel like with me i just knew that for me sex is just gonna be it's gonna bind me to someone too much and i'm just gonna be hooked to that person you know what i'm saying and i was just like i'm not gonna do it that was the choice that i decided to make and then um yeah and then i got to varsity and i was like you know what there's this one gent i was like you know what 
with this gent like the way he's so into me like i don't think he broke my heart or whatever i was like with this one no shame i was like this one if it goes there if it goes there we'll do it so initially my reason for being for not having sex was not like it was not about god it was not about like it was just a decision that i made because i didn't want to be too attached to somebody and i was like god saved me before it got there with that guy but because i got saved like i don't know after that situation in the middle i don't know i think after that situation before that situation in the middle i don't know but i got saved so it ended up not getting there and then obviously i started questioning okay um why why am i doing this why why you know why should i do it and whatever and um i think the main thing with me is that i had my mom i had my mom say you know what i'm just gonna tell you guys how i managed to stay a virgin at the age of i'm turning 22 but in the caption i said 22 because just so that video matures well <laughs> so um i'm gonna tell you how i did it and everything i did is based off of scripture and i know like a lot of people like saying um yeah well if you haven't had uh sex it's so easy for you to say oh you know but the bible's for everybody so and the bible speaks to everybody and the bible has power over your life and if you read the bible and you have that relationship with god you'll know to stay out of certain situations and you'll know how to deal with that temptations and those those urges to you know jump on somebody's son or jump on somebody's uh daughter but anyways i have three things that i did that helped me um stay virgin so these are the three things that you can if you decide if you want to if you decide you don't want to have sex anymore like when we come out of this lockdown i see a lot of people are on the chair but if you come out of this lockdown and you say i don't want to have sex anymore until i get married or whatever you decide i'm going to give you guys three tips on how to do it and how to protect yourself protect yourself how to fight temptations so number one everything every tip that i'm giving you is from the bible and it's something that worked for me personally so i really hope it helps you so the first one is i'm going to read two scriptures the first one is the psalms uh, psalms yes 119 verse 9 it says how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word that was the first one and then the second one is Romans 13 verse 14. It says, instead, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires. So number one is read the word of God. And like for me, like when I'm bowing a gent, you know, like say you watch a rom-com and you're just like, wow, hey, it's about well to stick my tongue down someone's son's throat, right? You go for me because this is what i do like if i watch a movie and then now i watch this movie it was a rom-com and i'm about willing to stick my tongue down somebody's son's throat i just have to go back to god and be like god this is what's happening man um i just feel like put my tongue down someone's throat and i'm open with god like that because like he knows you know what i'm saying and it says here don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires so if you feel like putting your tongue down someone's son's throat don't be thinking of ways to get someone's son here so you can put your tongue down their throat you understand what i'm saying like just don't indulge in the evil desires you know what i'm saying just be in god's presence listen to gospel you know i'm sure you don't want to put your your tongue down someone's throat oh my mercy jesus you're my lord you're my savior you're my friend who who if you do girl boy who get it together <laughs> um anyways so that's the first thing is get in god's presence just don't entertain those thoughts don't send the you up text just don't do it don't respond like if you know that the person you're talking to makes you want to jump on him like just block the leak you know don't indulge those thoughts. Okay, cool. Number two, I'm going to read from James 5, um, verse 16, the Amplified Version. Confess your sins to one another, your false steps, your offenses, and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. 
the heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man, a believer, is able to accomplish much. When you put into action and made effective by God, it is dynamic and can have tremendous power. So generally when we slip, we want to keep it to ourselves. And when you keep it to yourself, that's when um, it gets worse. It becomes bigger than what it is. It becomes bigger than what it is. So um, for me, what helps is that, you know, just be honest. Just if you have um, spiritual leaders or if you have friends that can keep you accountable, just be honest. Tell them, hold oh, hey, man, even if you slipped, like, oh, oh uh, I mean, I went to this gent and I was so sure I'm not going to have sex and now I did. Just be honest. Confess to somebody. Confess to one another as believers and just talk about it and pray about it. And another thing it says is... Um, Put into action and made effective by God. So after praying, don't put yourself in situations that are going to lead you to that in the first place. Like, Don't be alone in the bedroom or like if you know this guy or Tempta Haolo and like it goes on in the car, like stand outside the car or meet in public places or you understand what I'm saying? Just but like have accountability partners. I think that's the main thing. Confess to each other. Be like, I'm really struggling with sex. Like, okay, everything in terms of like my um, spiritual walk is fine. It's okay. But when it comes to sex, I just really can't. Just confess to one another so you can see the power of God and the power of prayer in your life and through your life. That's the second thing that I did. I was always honest about it. Um, if there was a guy that I thought was cute and we were like, we could hit it or whatever. I mean, not hit it, not sex, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I'd just be honest about it and be like, hey, um, hey, I'd be like, hey, mama, or hey, Edson, or hey, one of my leaders, and just be like, this is what's happening. And I also have around me a group of believers and people with the same mindset. So if you're trying to be celibate and you're hanging around, People that are not celibate, they're always going on about sex. Obviously, you're going to be triggered. So try and surround yourself with people who uh, have the same mindset as you, that can keep you accountable and pray with you. Um, and then the third one, I'm going to read the same scripture, but I'm going to read it in New Living Translation and in the Amplified Version. So the third thing that I did, um, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, New Living Translation says, The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience, and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. And then I'm going to read the same scripture, but in the Amplified Version. It says, No temptation, regardless of its source, has overtaken or enticed you, that is not common to human experience, nor is any temptation unusual or beyond human resistance. But God is faithful to his word. He is compassionate and trustworthy, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability to resist. But along with the temptation he has in the past and is now and will always provide the way out as well, so that you will be able to endure it without yielding and will overcome temptation with joy. I'm just going to give the definition of joy because I wrote it down because I thought it would, um, I don't know, it would make something clear, clear. So joy means a feeling of great pleasure and happiness in the same way that you feel like um, after sex you've elated and you have joy and happiness. And it's just like during that moment you feel it. Even after you, you resist, you will have, it. she says in the Bible, you will overcome temptation with joy. So you'll have a feeling of great pleasure and happiness without the sex. So um, I think the main thing here that we can get is that um, God won't give you a temptation that you cannot withstand. And here I love when it says that regardless of its source, because sometimes we put ourselves in situations uh, where we we are tempted so we do it to ourselves but regardless of if we put ourselves in those situations where we can get tempted god always provides a way out and in order um in the new living translation version it says when you are tempted he will show you a way out so that you can endure and in order for god to be able to show you a way out of that temptation you have to be honest with him about the temptation and be like listen jesus Listen, God, this is what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm facing right now. 
and he will show you a way out so just be open with god and i feel like that's like one part of our lives where we feel like you know god can't touch and god can touch that part you just need to be truly honest with him and be like listen i just feel like i need to go jump on somebody's son right now or i just feel like i need to jump on somebody's daughter right now and it's just like he will provide a way out for you you just need to be open with him and that's the whole thing it's a relationship in the same way you tell your friend oh friend yo jabawela oh friend i'm so horny oh friend i want to stick my tongue down his throat in the same way you tell your friend that's the same way you should tell jesus you should tell god and be like listen this is what i accept god is like the best counsel and his word is the best counsel so he's going to give you more sound and better advice than your friends who are just gonna say it's a my am hoti yo moody air man yo mu hoti you understand what i'm saying so i'm just feel like if you're serious about this whole thing of being celebrated and you're serious about um keeping your virginity um plus i'd like saying have anointed common sense like also it comes like in terms of you if you know situation that trigger you and if you know songs that trigger you or if you know um people that trigger you just stay away from them stay away from those things because if you're really trying to succeed in this whole thing of celibacy and this whole thing of staying um a virgin it's just like you have to put the work in and not to say it's going to be easy obviously it's not going to be easy i mean we're beautiful people and there are beautiful people out there who want us and we just want to jump on them but it's just like be open with god and let god help you through it because he can and he's open to help you with it it's just you're not opening up about that part of your life so how can he help you with something you're not bringing to him anyways that is all from me today i really hope we learned something and i really hope we can apply these three tips in our lives um that's what i've been doing um i think the main thing just be open with god about it and just watch him help you through it um and another thing I'd, I'd like to emphasize again is just just because you're a virgin doesn't mean you're better than anybody else and what god has made pure um you cannot say is unpure because god said that and also at the end of the day um the second most important uh commandment according to jesus as you just said in matthew is that you love your neighbors as you love yourself so i just want to say that as much as you love yourself love everybody else it's not it wasn't conditional it wasn't a love your neighbor as you love yourself if they are a virgin love your neighbor if you it was saying literally love everybody as you love yourself so that is all from me folks i hope this was an informative and very um um necessary video for this time because everybody is by willing i see you guys on the tl oh my gosh all i've been thinking about is rounds i saw this tweet this morning that said i've been thinking about sex for three days here i get yo in your goa in your goa and i just want to say just go play some worship just go pray just go something you know what i'm saying but that is all from me I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you learned something. We're going to grow. We're going to have a great time. 